Many enthusiasts do not realize the technological capabilities of BRP's wholly owned engine manufacturer, Rotax, located in Austria. The company is literally immersed in high-performance engine technology and has made high-performance engines for other iconic power sports brands like BMW and Aprilia. Rotax is one of our best kept secret. And for us, when we try to design a product, the power plan, the engine itself, is part of the DNA, it's part of the soul of a product. Because Rosax is based in Austria. Our people there speak German, and we are surrounded by German car companies like BMW, Audi, Volkswagen, Porsche, Mercedes. We know a bit the technology that they're working on, we're working with their supplier, and very often we have access to those technology and try to apply them in our product line. And I could not see myself managing BRP without having uh, or planning our own destiny in our power plant. We've been to Valcor, Quebec, and we have felt the passion BRP employees have for their products. We asked Boisjoli, how do BRP employees continue to transfer their passion for power sports into products that literally ooze passion? Passion is important everywhere. One advantage that we have at BRP is we have a good connection with the product and it's easy to fall in love with the product and to be passionate about what we do. We don't care if a good idea comes from design, a good idea comes from engineering or manufacturing or finance. And this is a rolling a snowball effect. I mean, we have passionate people because we supporting them but also many good ideas came from people uh, who, who decided to push themselves. BRP has pushed hard on their dealer network to add value to the purchase of their products. We suspect this is an uphill battle for any power sports OEM. Boisjoli has an unusual and an important slant on BRP dealers. He knows that great products make happy dealers. The dealer network is very important in our business because at the end of the day, they buy the product at the dealership. And the dealer have evolved a lot because we did expand significantly our TV lineup. The Spider is there now, the side-by-side, -side, and we're forcing them in a certain way to expand their dealership. Everyone is uh, more demanding, consumer is more and more demanding, they want to have the best product, but you cannot buy the best product into a bad dealership. The new incredibly low price Spark personal watercraft has the industry buzzing. ATV side-by-side -side dealers and their customers want to know if BRP can do a side-by-side -side or an ATV with similar paradigm shifting pricing. We let Boisjoli comment on the dynamics of the Spark project. The, the idea about the Spark uh, was to re-spark the industry and insert certain country to spark the industry because in some market the watercraft did never exist and we've done many surveys around the world and the people are extremely interested to buy a watercraft but they are not ready to pay fifteen thousand dollars for a watercraft and in 1995 a watercraft was 55 to 110 horsepower the price range at the time was 45.99 to six thousand dollars and basically we came back to that basic, to reset the clock. And since the introduction, many customers asking for a Spark snowmobile, a Spark ATV or a Spark side-by-side. -side. And we'll look at all the opportunity, but uh, we're very happy with the first reaction of the customers and we'll see how successful it will be. If you're an astute observer of the power sport industry, you would know that BRP Incorporated is a power sports manufacturer that has shifted long-standing paradigms with bold, innovative, and ultimately revolutionary technology. We all know BRP makes Can-Am ATVs and side-by-sides. However, BRP is known for many more successful brands, including Ski-Doo Snowmobiles, Sea-Doo Watercraft, Spider Roadsters, Rotax Engines, and Evinrude Outboards. Here's BRP's president and CEO. If you go back 20 years ago, uh, BRP was a two-product company, Skidoo Snowmobile and Sea-Doo Watercraft, and for a dealer in the South, we're a one-product company. And at that time, we, we embarked into a, a, an idea to enlarge our product line to have a better 
product offering to the dealers. And today we have a very diversified product portfolio, diversified dealer network, and we have a diversified manufacturing footprint. Then all of this was to improve obviously our business, but also to improve our value proposition to the customers and the dealers around the world. And I'm very happy of what we have accomplished. The reason this company has rocked the power sports world the past 10 years, it's about the leadership of Jose Boisjoli, BRP's president and CEO, who takes responsibility for some of the power sports industry's most iconic brands very seriously. It's not one element, it's three elements that goes together. You need to be competitive manufacturing the product. You have to have a good product offering to convince the best people in the world to distribute and sell your product. And at the same time, to enlarge a product portfolio, help us to leverage our technology, leverage our know-how, then have a better cost overall. And we've done, I believe, a very good job to do it very quickly. BRP appears obsessed with delivering class-leading performance with everything they build. When Can-Am first introduced the Outlander as an 800, it was the biggest in its class, then a 1000. The Maverick story is the same, 101 horsepower out of the gate, significantly one-upping the competition. For me, a good analogy is the Porsche story. Porsche was recognized in the world for their sport car. The 911 is a true sport car, two-seater car. But they needed to expand their product line to stretch their brand. And they've done an incredible job with the Cayenne. It's a utility vehicle, uh, but it has that utility flavor, but at the same time, it's a sport riding. And every product that we touch, we are looking forward to have the performance, we have the handling and the stunning design. And this apply to the vision for every product that we touch. While Beaujolais is known as a calm and thoughtful individual, he's made some pretty in-your-face proclamations over the years. For example, he has made it clear that BRP will own the highest performance segment of every market BRP participates in. We wanted to create the ETV for enthusiasts, rebranding the ETV from Bombardier ETV to Canam. And to be honest, internally, uh, the engineering team, the design team, people in manufacturing, when we said, let's try to make the best product for the enthusiast customer, it was a declick. For us, it was a way to, to draw the vision, and everything we do has the same vision. We always try to be the best in the product category because that's who we are, that's our DNA, and that's what we are good at. And so far, it's a recipe that is working.